but he's just really good, Alaric, and that's who I go against mostly. Um, and Tristan, I know him and Chauncey are going at it over there, but um, it's a lot of good battles, and it's a good time, and it's fun to be able to go against someone who can really challenge you and beat you. And um, just taking advantage of having someone there like that that can really push you to your limits and um, push you to be better than what you are. Um, those guys are really nice to have around. I've been really impressed with how you've been able to stay in the moment over the years and stardom. Nothing goes to your head. How do you do that now? I mean, everybody's saying, oh, Epinesa, Epinesa. I mean, how, how do you do that? Um, I guess I've really n never really been one for attention, I guess. But I mean, I mean, it's nice. It's really nice to have people like want to care about you and want to talk about you. And I mean, everyone wants people to talk about them. Um, but I just kind of, I kind of take it to my mind as, and I mean, I got football going on. I have, I have school, and um, I'm just a 20-year-old kid who's playing football, who's trying to uh, live out his dream one day. And uh, that's really how I take a look at it, is that um, it's not about me, it's about the team, and it's about um, playing good football and really just not letting down my teammates. All right, perfect. Hey, I appreciate it, man. Yep, Thanks. No problem. Thank you. So now they've added the sacks. Are you moving up the charts, or do they retroactively give you sacks on the ho ball hawks? Or? Uh, I mean, it's just, I mean, they, they watch the film, okay. and they kind of decide if it was a sack or not. I mean, unless it's obviously a sack. Yeah. But sometimes it's real close, and so they don't give it to you, and you're like, come on, that was a sack. But uh, <laughs> they try to help us out every once in a while. But your name's not at the top yet, or is it? I am second You're... behind Joe, uh, Joe Evans. Really? Yes. Tell us about those hybrid dudes, uh, him and Imani. How mm -hmm. they might be used, and what, is it weird when you turn around and there's a 5'11 guy behind you? <laughs> oh, I mean, no, because both of them are, like, extremely athletic and freakishly strong. I mean, you guys all know about Imani. Yeah. But, I mean, Joe's, like, what, 6'2 and a half, and he's got, like, a 360 bench max, mm -hmm. and, he's just, and he's athletic. And he can, I mean, he can go and dunk a basketball with ease. Like, he's really a good athlete. He's a really good guy, and I enjoy spending time with him. But, I mean, those guys, they work really hard. And they, they mostly work off the weak side of the defense. Mm -hmm. They don't get put into the heavy five. And, um, I mean, they get after it. Those guys are, I mean, they're, you can always rely on them to, to run to the ball and to always um, get to where they need to go and play hard. I mean, that's something those guys have always taken pride in is playing hard, and that's what they do well. Is that the dimension?